Everyone knows MVP's kind of been all the hype for the last recent bit, especially with these time lapses coming out. And contrary to popular belief, I didn't get to keep the time lapse that I played with with Simon. Oh. <laughs> that's I mean, that's wow. Awesome. Wow, we're making this disc look really overstable. So I wanted some, and as someone who'd done custom stamps through MVP before, like these Shattered Van Envies, I bought the dealer a lot of 10 of them. Most of them went to patrons, but you need a minimum order that's above the amount of time lapses you could buy. So I picked up a starter set. So today we're bringing back a series that we started six months ago. We only did one episode on starter set roulette, where we play nine holes here at Harlow Plattis Golf Course from the long baskets to see which starter set is the best. The record right now with fourth circle discs, an Australian company is four under par, but we're gonna add a twist to it in max distance throw with each of these discs, which starter set has the farthest flying one. And we're not gonna think about the fact that I'm probably gonna be training and throwing farther ideally throughout the rest of the off season, but. These are the three discs. I have actually not thrown any of these discs before. I think one I might have thrown in an OTB drop, but we have the Atom, the Uplink, which I know is an understable mid-range. I'm interested to see how this plastic flies because the R2 glitches, which is this recycled, well, eco-conscious recycled materials. This is the back of it. It looks pretty cool. They got like the little gyro explanation, but on the glitches, it's more overstable. These might actually be like more usable than you think from a starter set. And then last is the Inertia, which I think is a flippy nine speed. Here's the course map, kind of a cool concept, Harlow Platts. It's got yellow and red baskets, but this first tee pad is the worst tee pad in all of Boulder County. You can see the basket all the way over here through those trees. This like might be the best starter set to like either do one of these challenges with or just like get people started with this that they can grow into potentially. But I'm also worried that it's not gonna be understable enough because MVP also typically tends to be a little more overstable. 200 feet, I think we're just gonna get started with a nice hyzer with the Adam, why not? Yeah, hit the pole. Exactly how we like to get started. More putts like that, please. Kind of a more stable pier. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I mean, you'd think proxy-ish, but the proxy and the MV have the same core. I don't think the Atom has the same core as those two. The overmold and the core are like two different parts of the disc. I think the back of the starter set actually kind of explains that pretty well. Straight, but not flippy, which is good. All right, this tree has grown in since the last time I was here, but the basket is right under it there, about 380 feet uphill. Now, I honestly haven't played this course much. I've come out here for tags a few times, and I don't think I've ever toed this hole. I don't mind the forehand, but now with these discs, I think the play is gonna be hitting the inertia kind of flat through this gap, because we do have a left right wind, so it's a, kind of a pop and park for a random Wednesday. Yeah, turn more. I threw it a little bit left, like inside of where I wanted. Should be an easy par. We even have an uphill chance to throw it in. All right, one more uplink real fast. Yeah, uplink, get over it. Not terrible. Oh, good. <laughs> Sometimes that's all that matters. I used to not really believe that. And then I played with Cordon. He kind of threw a slightly bad shot, but he ended up saying this. I love, I love that though. Like that was, it wasn't a good shot, but that came out really clean. There's so many positives you can take away from bad shots just by the way that they feel. And that like reframing, I kept that in the video because every time I play with these pros, I always walk out of it thinking that I'm a better disc golfer, like knowing that I am because you just kind of pick things up. So that was a really helpful, like mental cue to be like, hey, neither of these shots were what I wanted them to be, but I learned really good things about both of them. So that's a win. This is actually a putt. Got it. Drop. Whoa, that thing. It kind of stayed in the air. All right, we're still sticking with the inertia, I believe. It seemed like a usable flight, kind of close to like a S-Line CD1, I think, the new ones, which means it's probably not the best starter starter set disc. Maybe this is a good forehand starter set, honestly, because everything is gonna be stable enough for a new forehand, but flippy enough that like, you can start to work it in. But I think we're going to inertia. Turn. Okay, that's surprising. I definitely thought that would turn more. I mean, more than enough distance. See if we can get the uplink there. Why not? Big old turnover. Jeez, that's so cool. Whoa. Did I park it? I think I might have parked it with the uplink. Okay, I also threw the Atom, which is why it's not in my hands, but I kinda, it was bad, you don't wanna see that. Oh, maybe I should jump out. Just got like the best views for tappings. Easy. And this is the uplink, dude, are you kidding me? Maybe I should just throw on this guy. Pretty shot, we'll be throwing this thing some more. I almost had a better origin, not gonna say that. Flippier. Better starter origin, that's for sure. 
little phone tripod. Everyone always asks me for these. I have most things that you'll ever like be wondering about linked in the description. And most of them are affiliate links, so shout out. For a new segment that we're gonna be rolling out today. Slight head right to left, similar to the last hole. I think all of them can reach it. I do think it's an Adam shot. We threw that uplink so well last time that we gotta throw it. Dang it. Putt, love putt, but that was a little swoopy, which I think we'll see. We'll throw the Adam as well. Try to correct a little bit off that, a little higher. Man, that thing is straight. Gross. Oh my gosh, that flip up. What? All right, welcome to the first installment of Whole4 Form Reviews. We're probably gonna do a lot of these throughout the off season because they're things I'm working on. It'll be explained in the video probably like over the next couple days, but basically I'm done just being a YouTuber. I need to increase the percentage of me being a disc golfer versus just a YouTuber because it's been like 90, 10 versus like 50, 50. Real quick, go to edit up here. We're gonna make sure we can see all of the beauty. Things that I'm really looking at start loading on that back hip after my X step. And so I'm already a little bit kind of starting to curl, kind of keeping the disc back there. I wanted to make sure that my front shoulder is more internally rotated. This is internal rotation. I'm not very good at it. I've been working on it a lot. It's actually gotten significantly better over the past literally just week or two. I'm really thinking about going from an internally rotated position to an externally rotated open position. Internal to external is how you throw nose down. From what I understand, this all might not be true. This is just my understanding. I want that front leg to be almost a little bit more cold against the back leg. So a little more, if I'm here, a little more coiled against the back leg turn so that there's a, you could see a little bit more of that knee being down instead of almost being kind of too open. Take a quick look at the back arm. This is mostly like things I'm doing poorly that I'm trying to fix. But you can see the back arm flails all the way out and then starts coming in at maybe a decent time. I do want to be driving that back knee towards the ground. I'd be able to rotate through my hips slightly. I think they're firing a cannon over at that school. Gosh, that was scary. That's not my snap, don't worry. But I want that back knee and back arm to be way closer to the ground. I'm able to throw out from a kind of internally rotated position here, and then I snap out and through. Brace is pretty fine. Nothing looks ridiculously bad, but there's a lot of like timing and slightly off sequence issues. So I'm gonna try to not make these forever long, but I'm super interested in them. I know people are genuinely interested in form. Oh, I still have a, kind of a comeback, but. Can't be missing circle ones, baby. We need to get at least three more birdies to tie. I'm not losing. All right, right by where that guy's walking his dog and it's probably about to poop right where I'm trying to land this disc. My goal with this shot is to have it hyzer in front of that last tree, but on like a kind of a pushing hyzer down the hill so that it hits the ground pretty soon and kind of skips down towards the basket. Sometimes you just do what you say you want to do. Sometimes you just do it, I don't know what happened. Okay, so real quick, back to that form piece. If you guys are interested in stuff like that, it's gonna be in almost every video. Just a little bit about form. Feel free to skip through that segment if you don't give a crap at all. But I like taking guys behind the scenes on what I'm working on, and I've been focused so much on being a YouTuber over a disc golfer, and that needs to change if I wanna get to the top, top level. So these last couple weeks, I haven't been there too much just because I've been focusing on like life stuff, and it's been really hard, and I've been really bad at it. Oh, maybe I didn't do it how I wanted. Maybe I'm a little deep. Nah, oh, dang it. This is some of my favorite feeling plastic from MVP. Probably mostly just because it's like a form of neutron plastic, which is probably my favorite plastic on the market right now, maybe. I really hope they let me run custom stamp cash dash MBs in neutron. But so far, I don't think this is a great starter starter set, but a good me starter set. This one is up around the tree to the left. And I just am complaining about score and needing three more birdies at least, but I'm gonna forehand the uplink, so. Oh, <laughs> I thought I black aced that one. Right, I guess it's technically a gray ace since it's on the same hole. Two down. If we get these last three, ooh. One of them's really tough though, shoot. All right, this is the distance control hole right here. They were smartly put up that little trellis so no one hits that. Honestly, because of that, I think if we stay outside of that and under this tree with the Adam on a hyzer, we will have distance control, but all these just glide so much. That's one thing that makes them good for beginners. Even if this is a pretty overstable putter for them, it might be able to handle torque on forehand and backhand from someone who like throws faster than they're able to spin it, which a lot of times is what causes stuff to roll as a beginner because you haven't generated spin in your throw. So there's no gyroscopic stability. I'm a nerd, I know. Oh no, that is so far. 
We are severely lacking in the distance control department today. My initial thoughts are this is the best forehand starter set out there that I've ever seen. And then how do I just not even putt? That's awesome, good job. All right, basket right over here. I believe you just says it's about 450. We have a left to right, which actually will probably help because this has some stability. I'm gonna rip the inertia. My only goal here is to give myself a circle two look. Dang it. Ah, distance here is not bad. I'm hoping we could push 390 out of it in the distance competition. Oh, he did a jump putt. Here come all the football comments, baby. I got a really hot take on football, so I probably will put on banana frisbee for off at some point. Oh yeah, can't wait for the day when I get this hole in this challenge. I was thinking throughout this video, I'm like, man, this is such a good forehand starter set. Probably gonna title it that, like it makes so much sense. And then I realized I've thrown no forehands off the tee. So I'm definitely not gonna title it that, because <laughs> that would be so disappointing if you clicked on this video for that. Might still be something about forehands, because I do think like this is probably the best one that I've seen. We're gonna go ahead and throw the inertia on a forehand, finally. Honestly, mostly because there's that person back there, and I think I could hit them. It's like tailwind, get some ride down the hill. Hopefully, get to three down. This is forehanders. Like, look at that shot. That shot was awesome. Go ahead and throw the up link for the backhanders. This is a really good starter set. If we can birdie with the Atom as well as those two, game over. I focused that time on the little bit of extra back coil and I think I got the distance. I really focused on getting that, like the little bit of rounding, but then I watch pros like, you'd be like, just if you were looking at them, be like, oh, that's rounding. I don't know if it actually is, maybe, but like, what a lot of like internet coaches say rounding is, I don't think is actually like bad rounding because there's so many pros who do it. I don't know, I'm not getting into the internet coach coach debate. I, this is why I'm gonna mess with stuff on my own for a bit, maybe talk to some people about it, but just share my opinions, which are probably not right, but never take my advice as if I'm a coach. Test things, because nobody knows what they're talking about in disc golf yet. Well, this is certainly interesting. Adam, uplink, and the inertia. What shots? You know what, I think I'm gonna amend my position. This is still a great starter set for a forehander, quote unquote, but I think it's a great starter set for a forehander who wants to learn the backhand. Because you probably have already been playing a little bit. Uplink, great backhand disc to get started with. You can also forehand that if you have a solid forehand. Like you're more of a beginner, but you are forehand dominant and want to learn the backhand. Inertia, I think will teach you a lot on both spins. And then the Atom is a very point and shoot putter. I think that's what this is. It is a phenomenal starter set for a forehander wanting to learn the backhand. Distance contest time, baby. So here's why this is the world's most unfair distance contest. First, I only get one shot. So no matter what happens, if I throw it, if I suck and throw it into the ground, that's the distance that that this gets. Second, I'm gonna throw from the same spot every single time that I do this, regardless of the wind. And third, we're going total distance. We're gonna throw from this pad where this rock is. Hopefully this park never ever moves this rock. And then we'll just shoot back to the rock. Adam's going first. I think if I get this the right amount of Anheuser, we can juice it. Let me real quick range to that soccer goal, just to know kind of what we're looking at. Perfect, we're never gonna get there, it's 440. Little nose up, a little two nose up, but that thing glides for days, so I'm guessing I'm guessing 315. Do have a slight headwind, but not too much. <clears throat> Again, a little nose up. We are going total distance, so further down the hill still counts. 332. Inertia, I'm shooting for 380, baby. Externally rotate. Throw the hand down. Oop, bad run up. <clears throat> If that gets out of it, that's ripped. Get out of it! No! It's panning the whole way. Well, there goes a chance for that one. Okay, this Adam's actually kind of ripped. And you're not gonna be able to see. To the rock, I am getting 341 with the Adam. Okay, that bodes well. I don't think the uplink, the uplink might be shorter than the Adam then. Oh, you know what, I need to get, if anyone knows a company that makes that rangefinder that like says it out loud, so that the commenters, you know, here's the thing. I was gonna say that for like people who wouldn't believe me, but if you don't believe me, send me one of those rangefinders. Cause I have no incentive to lie to you. I do, like, I don't care if you think I'm good. 
I care if you like me. I don't care if you think I'm good. That's just being honest about my mental health, baby. <laughs> Struggles. We are reading 368 to the rock. Where the heck did this last guy go? Oh, here it is. Perfect. Okay, this is kind of far. Not online, but far. Okay, so it's not reading. The rock is too low. 386 of the tree. Let me range to just the edge of the tree line where I was. So to the back edge of the tree of like the line of shrubs that I got in, it's saying 410. So we're gonna call it, it's 380 to there. I think it's, we'll call it 405. So I should've just ranged to that tree, but that tree was 385, which there is angles involved in that, but the tree, the spot in the tree that I hit is 45 from here. So you call it 430, we're gonna call it 405. And you guys can yell at me in the comments about that if you feel like that's really unfair, but I did say this is the world's most unfair distance contest. So <laughs> that's that, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one or in those videos, peace.